Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with the Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And since the last time I played, which it has been a while, there have been quite a few new additions that have been placed into this game. One of which is a new DLC I'm going to be purchasing soon, and that is the Thailand DLC. I have not bought it just yet, but I will be buying it very, very soon. One of the reasons I haven't gotten to that point yet though guys is because another addition to the game was a free DLC that allowed you to get new fish species. And pretty much every lake or fishery in the game has had new species added to them. For instance, even the very beginning, the first one. For instance, the very first one, Betty Lake has had eyed pumpkin seed and burbot added to it. It used to be just the trout. Now you have three more species. You also have a winter Betty Lake that I have never tried and I think I'm going to come in here and give that a look tonight because that I haven't done any ice fishing here for quite a while. Then Powell Lake, they've added the pumpkin seed. The flathead catfish is another new one they've added. I think they might have added another crappie. Let me see. Yes, they added the white crappie. I think they had the black crappie already. St. Zeno's Lakes. Looks like they added roach. Uh, let's see, they already had the bream. I thought they had added something else. Silver bream. Silver bream. I believe that's a new one. And chub might be new. I'm not sure. Uh, Bacal Lake. They added the asp, the bleak, the silver bream, and the silver carp. And the white and black graylings, those are new. I think they only had the five species before that one, so that's had a, quite a few added to it. The Achikafalea Basin, let's see, they added the flathead catfish, Eid. Eid? Okay, that's a little strange. I don't think that's even a species here. <laughs> maybe, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. The Olvac River had the Ass, Bleak, and Burbot added. Panas Bay. This one has something called the Giant Trevally. The Gilt Head Sea Bream added to this portion of it. And then the Ocean version of it has now the Giant Trevally, the Gilt Head Sea Bream, and Sailfish. And Yellowfin Tuna. Definitely going to have to check that one out. Moraine Lake. I don't think it's... The Yellow Perch might be new and the Sauger might be new. And I don't think they had Walleye before. Yeah, I'm pretty sure those are new. I don't think they had anything new to the Caraba Dam. Unless it's Purple Labeo might be the new one. I'm not sure about these. These are so un you know, unusual for me. Now for Greenland, they've added the Capelin. I believe that's new. The Deepwater Redfish. I don't remember that. The Atlantic Salmon is new. It used to be Atlantic Cod only, and Greenland Cod. Now they have the Atlantic Salmon. And looks like they have... Uh, I don't think they've added anything new to this one, I think, except for the salmon. Amazon River, let's see, I think the Oscar, Oscar's new. <coughs> Everything else I think is pretty much the same there. Japan, let's see, the, I think they left that one pretty much alone. I don't think anything's changed there. And I don't know about the Thailand one. But what's cool is they've added plenty of new species. I still don't see bluegill. They added pumpski, pumpkin seed, no bluegill. And that just kind of strikes me as odd. Oh, here it is, Powell Lake. Okay, well, it's there. Bluegill was not there before. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and try out Betty Lake here. And we're going to see what we can do here. I haven't done any ice fishing for quite a while. It used to be you could only do it, I believe, at uh, Bacal Lake and Moraine Lake. 
I don't remember being able to do a Betty Lake. Maybe you could, I just never did. Alright, we've got our drilling device here. Let me see what we have in our inventory here. As far as rods. I don't think I have anything here that's going to be appropriate right now. <laughs> yeah, we've got... That lure is going to have to go. Let's see here. We've got the Benit, which is a little bit... Well, it's not too bad. That's not too bad. We've only got one rod for fishing in ice. But let's go ahead and free up all this stuff because... We've got a lot of cash, so we can basically purchase as we go here, guys. Alright, guys, I am back, and we're going to take a look at the gear I have set up here. I've got on my first rod, I've got fairly light line. It's only about 5 pound test. We're going to be going after the blue, or not the blue go, but the pumpkin seed. See if we can't find one there, and we're using bread for that. Um... The other one that we're going to go after here is, uh, this one goes up to like 15.9 pound for the durability. And we're going to be going after any of the trout species that are here. And then for the last one, we're focusing primarily on burbot. I think that'll be a good choice. And we're using small cut bait. That seems to be what they prefer. I'm trying to remember, is it pumpkin seed, burbot, and what was the other one? Eyed. Eyed. We want eyed, too. And I think this might actually have eyed on it. If not, we might take it down to something else. I'm trying to remember what the eye go for. Actually, let's go ahead and get rid of that. We'll see if we can something, find something that the eyed will go for. Not the semolina balls. Not cheese. Not sure what they go for, honestly. There's lots of species to go for the worms. So we might be pretty safe with that. I'm trying to remember. Okay. They do go for leeches. Go ahead and equip those. Looks like burbot will go for them as well, as well as bluegill. Or not bluegill, but pumpkin seed. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm not sure how we're going to figure out where we need to go here. I don't know if Hunter Vision will work with them under the ice. Yes, it does. Okay, very nice. Well, my guess is the pumpkin seed will be probably in this big group of them over here. This looks like as good a place as any. So we press R to start drilling in the right. It's been a while. There we go. Now this time. Let's see. Stop fishing, reel out, okay. We can see the guys down there. This is one time where the camera definitely pays off. Lots of species down here. Not sure where the bluegill or the pumpkin seed... I keep wanting to say bluegill. Not sure where the pumpkin seed are going to hang out. I would think that they would hang out closer to the surface. Hold on. Let me switch rods here. This is this has got leeches. See if that might attract a different set of fish here. There's one just swimming around there in the bottom. I think that might be an eyed, guys. Boom! There we go. 
not what we were after, but I will take it. I'm not sure what that, what that is, honestly. I think it's some kind of trout. Can't really tell. He is pretty damn strong. This isn't a huge lake, so it shouldn't be that hard for me to get him in. Rainbow Trout. Not a bad one either. $67. Yeah, it's not going to take long for us to get our money back. Well, leeches are already doing pretty good, guys. I don't think we're where the pumpkin seed are just yet. Okay, that fish looks very interested. Boom! There we go. I think this might be a cutthroat. Kind of hard to tell from this angle, but... Especially when he phases into the side of the bank. Seriously, want to get some of these new species here, though, too. Yep, it is a cutthroat, $48. We'll sell him. There's plenty of fish here. They're definitely going for the leeches. Keeping that near the bottom is actually pretty good. Yeah, the trout are definitely going for this. There's another cutthroat. But that's all I really see right here. I think we might need to move to another part of the lake because that's a little fitty fella. Well, that's all in good. Kind of like to get something a little different here. Let's see if we check the hunter mate. Yeah, this kind of looks like Trout Central here, guys. Let's. Now we've got something. Pretty big right under us right here. So let's start drilling here. Alright, let's see. I think I might be out of bait. Yeah, I am. Okay. We're definitely going to buy leeches. Get plenty of money. Let's see, anything... Ooh! The pumpkin seed go for those? Well, we're buying some of those. What about dough balls? Uh, no, not on the list. Did I go for that? No. Burbot do. Hmm. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's equip some of these. Let's see what happens when we do that. Maybe we can get a burbot once we find them. Now they're going to be nearer to the bottom, I would think. There we go. There's our first burbot, guys. We got one. First of the new species of Betty Lake. 
and he is no slouch. Ten dollars? I mean, he's not huge. Be interesting to see how big they do get. <laughs> New record. He's teeny. Pumpkin seed go for this too, but that hook may be too big for the pumpkin seed. Trying to attract them. There we go. Whoa, that's an eyed there, guys. That is an eyed. That's number two, the species we have not seen before. Now these are going to be somewhat sizable. I think I've got him. There we go, our first eyed. $18. Definitely went for the marshmallows. It kind of kept the trout for at bay so that we could focus on these newer species. Let me see here. I'm going to check my inventory here. What size hook do I have on here? Now this is a one-aught hook. So if I upsize that hook, I might be able to get a larger burbot. So let's see what we can do about upsizing that. It's a little too big there. Four-aught, eh. Okay, let's, put, let's equip this one. Now I can only hold one marshmallow, but I can get a three-odd hook on it. All right. Let's see if we can't find us a bigger burbot. We may need to move. I don't know. I'm going to get it down to the... Yeah, moving it around seems to really attract them, too. There we go. Yeah, he's considerably bigger than the last one was. Okay, he's taking that out. Not a whole lot bigger. A little bigger. Let's try one more time, guys. Right at this spot. There we go, another eyed. I was hoping we'd get another eyed. I saw a big one swimming a little bit earlier. Yeah, is this one bigger? Yes, it is. $25. 3.44 pounds. 
We'll sell him. All right, let's go ahead, stop fishing for a moment. Let's use the hunter mate, take a look around here and see what we're dealing with. We got something down there that's good size. And body shape wise, I'd say it's an eyed. But we're not catching those big ones, so let's see what we can do here. Let's walk over here a little bit. Let's drill right here. Alright, I am going to change my hook size again just to make sure. Now right now we're working with a three odd hook. Let's go a little bit bigger, not maybe not that big. Yeah, this one will equip. We'll put a six odd hook on this. It may be too big, but we'll we'll give it a shot. And with the bait, we'll put marshmallows on again. See if we can't lock into one of those big fellas. Let's make it too too tasty to resist. <laughs> Three marshmallows. Now if this hook is too big for any fish here, it will tell me. So, we shouldn't worry about that. Come on, fellas. Yeah, see? Your hook size doesn't match the size of the fish in this area. Consider a smaller hook. That's good to know. What we'll do... Yeah, this is a new... All new species, so we're not really sure what size hooks they prefer. We now know the bait. There's a bourbon right there. He is not interested. Well, maybe they just have to go with three yachts. That's a trout. I haven't seen any eyed for a while. Ah, we might need to move here, guys. Check our hunter mate. No, there is still some good sized fish right here. But they don't seem to be very far below the surface. There they are. They may be just trout though. There we go. Alright, I wouldn't go bigger than 3 odd for these guys. Not unless we can find a monster. But 
They are strong. Even for little guys, they're strong. Yeah, mostly what I'm seeing down here are trout. Yep, he's the biggest so far of those I've got. 3.18 pounds. Kind of curious to see how big they actually get. Let's see, are there still some down there? Well, there's something big down there. Come on. I want to get a big old eyed. Another burbot. Well, at least the burbot are biting. After we get this one pulled in, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go looking for pumpkin seed. I think I might know where to look, though. There's like a little... Now, nah, he's kind of small. There's a little alcove not too far off. And I think that's where we're going to find him. But it's way down here. Let me do the hunter mate one quick here. Yeah, what I'm seeing is mostly trout. Those are probably eyed. I think the pumpkin seed, if they're anywhere, they might be over here. Near where the creek empties out. Probably right around in here. It's just a guess. Of course, I could be dead wrong. But what we're going to go ahead and do is get a, this drilled. Switch it to our first rod with the bread. At least get a look to see what's down here. I'm not actually seeing any fish. Oh, there's one! <laughs> I was so hoping to get one. I was afraid I wouldn't. There he is. Isn't he pretty? They're such a pretty little fish. Damn, he's fighting pretty good. I'll give him that. I mean, this is very light line. There he is. <laughs> Not even half a pound. There's the pumpkin seed. Well, that's all three of them, guys. All three of the new ones here. Let's see if we can't get us one more here. Oh! <laughs> Gotta get more bait. Let's see. I think they go for that too, so I'm gonna throw a leech on there. Okay, I can't equip more than one at a time, but that's fine. Leech really seem to attract these fish. There's an eye down there too. I might just throw those marshmallows down there and see if I can't pick him up.
Wow. <laughs> New record. He's about 0.65 pounds. Yeah, he definitely wanted that leech. All right, let's switch our rods here. Let's try the marshmallows here. Let's see if that was an eye that I saw. Nope, but it was a burbot, and that's a new record, 11.39 pounds. Now that's, that one makes a little more sense. $80. Shh, I'm already out of marshmallows. Lord. Gonna have to get more marshmallows. I think we're gonna be buying them by the gross. <laughs> Really? Damn. The vermin are actually pretty easy to catch. He's got a little oomph to him. Uh, the last one I got 80 cash from. Let's see how big this guy is. Nope. Got 65. He's not bad. I think I just got lucky and caught the other one real close to the surface there. Yeah, if you jerk it up quick enough, sometimes you can just pop them right out of there without any issues at all. Take that down to zero. Yeah, he's not. See how the trout are not interested at all? Now, if I put leeches on there, that would be all to diff altogether a different story. Oh, oh. There we go. Finally. That's a good way to end this. Nice big old eyed. He's running with it. Let's pull his finny butt out of there. And I think we'll call this an episode. That is a record at 26. He isn't huge, huge, but... Definitely worthwhile. Alright guys, that, my friends, is Betty Lake in the winter. This was fun, especially getting these new species. That was really pretty awesome. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. I'll be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. We've got a lot we can do. These new species have made me want to go out and catch as many of them as I can. But anyway, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.